Have you ever wondered when or if you should replace a regular verb with a phrasal verb? Maybe your sentence is, she discovered the truth. And you wonder if you should change this to, she found out the truth. Is one better than the other? Is one more advanced than the other? Is one more professional than the other? Is one more natural than the other? Maybe you've heard some teachers say you should only use phrasal verbs. Maybe you've heard some teachers say you should never use phrasal verbs. If you have ever wondered if a phrasal verb is better than a regular verb, the honest answer is yes, no, and it depends. Don't worry, by the end of this video, I promise you'll feel confident with both regular verbs and phrasal verbs. Our question is, are phrasal verbs better than regular verbs? First, let's talk about the reasons why, yes, phrasal verbs are better than regular verbs. You might be wondering, well, Jennifer, what is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a verb plus a preposition or adverb. The phrasal verb has a different meaning from the main verb. For example, pick a pen. This means select a pen. But if I say pick up a pen, here pick up means lift from a surface. I picked up your pen for you. Pick up can also mean buy from a store. I need to pick up some new pens after work. Pick up can also mean get, retrieve, or collect. Can you pick up my pens from Ashley's desk? It's very important to remember that phrasal verbs have different meanings depending on context. Now that you know what phrasal verbs are, let's talk about why they are better than regular verbs. Reason number one, native speakers love using phrasal verbs. If you ask a native speaker what he did last night, he'll say, ah, I hung out at home, I checked out a movie, I picked up some food. So if you want to understand native speakers in the real world, you need to learn phrasal verbs. Reason number two, phrasal verbs sound natural. Here's a question that native speakers are faced with every day. Are you picking up the kids after school or am I? This is the natural way to communicate this idea. A native speaker would not say, are you collecting the kids after school or am I? This sounds unnatural and it will make you sound unnatural if you use it. Reason number three, phrasal verbs sound casual and friendly. Phrasal verbs are more casual than regular verbs, and in many situations in your daily life, you want to use casual and friendly language. In most social situations, and in many professional situations, it sounds awkward to use overly formal word choices. It's not the right tone for the situation. Let's say you're at a party, and your friend says to you, I saw this awesome movie last weekend. You should check it out. I know you'll love it. And you reply back and say, I'll investigate that at my earliest convenience. This may sound appropriate in a formal academic or business situation, but at a party, it sounds awkward. And because the person talking to you used casual language, it sounds awkward to reply using formal language. In this specific situation, it's better to use casual and friendly language. You can use a common phrasal verb and say, I'll look into that soon. Look into means investigate, and soon means at my earliest convenience. Reason number four, the phrasal verb is the only option a native would use. In my examples before, both the phrasal verb and the regular verb exist, but the phrasal verb was preferred because it sounds friendly and casual. There are some situations where even in a professional or formal environment, the phrasal verb is the only choice a native would use. Let's review these examples. Where should I get off the train? 
Get off means disembark from a vehicle, but it isn't natural to say, where should I disembark from the train? A native speaker would never say that, even in the most formal situation. Another example, can you turn on the lights? Turn on, of course, means activate. Or what time do you wake up? Wake up means awaken for the first time in the morning. In all of these situations, a native speaker would use the phrasal verb. Remember, our original question was, are phrasal verbs better than regular verbs? Sometimes the answer is no, they're not better than regular verbs. Reason number one, grammatically, phrasal verbs are more complex and confusing. There are four types of phrasal verbs, separable, inseparable, transitive, and intransitive. The type of phrasal verb determines the sentence structure. You can say, I looked the information up. I looked up the information. I looked it up. You can say, I look after my kids. I look after them. You can't say, I looked it up. I look my kids after. I looked them after. Although phrasal verbs sound more natural to native speakers, they don't sound natural if your grammar is incorrect. It's better to use regular verbs correctly than incorrectly use phrasal verbs. It sounds more natural to have a regular verb that's grammatically correct than to have a phrasal verb that isn't grammatically correct. If you are not 100% confident that your grammar is correct, regular verbs are better. Reason number two, regular verbs sound more formal. In some situations, you don't want to sound casual. In spoken English, you may want to sound more formal when you're attending a job interview, giving a formal presentation, or meeting the CEO or president. And both academic and formal business writing favor regular verbs over phrasal verbs. Reason number three, Using the wrong preposition can change the meaning. Let's review this sentence. I put off the presentation. Here, put off means delay. But let's review this. I put up the presentation. Put up means to post, advertise, or make publicly available. How about this? I put on the presentation. Put on means to be responsible for organizing. So let's say that you want to tell your boss that you posted the presentation and you remember learning the phrasal verb for posted, but you use the wrong preposition and say, I put off the presentation. Your boss may become angry because she thinks you delayed the presentation instead of making it publicly available. Or maybe you use a preposition that doesn't exist and you say, I put over the presentation and your boss has no idea what you're talking about. This confusion doesn't exist with regular verbs. So again, if you are not 100% confident that you're using the correct phrasal verb with the correct preposition and your grammar is correct, you should use regular verbs instead. Remember, our original question was, are phrasal verbs better than regular verbs? In some ways, yes, they're better, but in some ways, no, they're not. And that's why, ultimately, it depends. It depends on your English level. It depends on your confidence. It depends on the context. It depends on your audience. Here are some guidelines on when and how to use phrasal verbs. You should use phrasal verbs if you want to sound casual and friendly instead of formal. You are 100% confident that the meaning and grammar is correct. There isn't a regular verb choice used by natives. You should use regular verbs if you want to sound more formal. You're writing something for academic or formal business purposes. You're not 100% that the phrasal verb is used correctly.
Although remember, if you want to understand native speakers in the real world, you need to learn the most common phrasal verbs. This doesn't mean you need to use them in your speech, but you need to understand them when natives use them. So now you can watch my lesson on the 100 most common phrasal verbs. And don't worry, you'll learn the meaning and grammar so you're 100% confident using them.